We're going to do a, another trick in Photoshop that will help us speed up our isometric conversions for top-down battle maps in a role-playing game virtual tabletop tool like Foundry or Roll20. So today, this tutorial is in Photoshop. What we're going to learn how to do is use actions to record the most labor-intensive and maybe finicky, want to make sure we do it perfect every time part of the conversion, which is the transform that we learned last time. So we're going to learn how to use actions in Photoshop. We're going to get our uh, tutorial of what we did last time. We're going to get it right up to the point where we were about to do the transform. But instead of just doing it, we're going to create a new action and we're going to have that be recording and we're going to do the transform and then stop the recording. And that will create this little macro inside of Photoshop that lets us work uh, and do that over and over and over again without having to do a lot of work. So starting from our top-down Dragon of Ice Spire Peak Ice Spire Hold, which is at perfectly at a 100 pixel grid, which we transformed in the last tutorial. So starting from there, in a new image, I'm going to File, Place Linked, grab the... Uh, let me just get into the uh, location that I had. Ugh, gosh, I got a lot of stuff in this folder. Get into my tutorials and my Photoshop basics and get into the top down. So I'm going to place that top down image, accept the placing of it, uh, and then I'm going to uh, put it in a folder and then have that folder selected. Now the actions are over here in this play bar with under this play icon, this, and if you can't find it, you can go uh, window and then just bring up actions and it'll come up. Uh, and then we've got this little isometric area that I've made. Let me delete, because that's what I did just to practice. So inside isometric, I'm gonna hit the new, I'm gonna call it tutorial ISO. And it's converting from 100 to 74. And on the side, I'm gonna make sure that my, uh, original uh, instructions are here so I don't get lost. And I'm gonna hit record. You notice that little red thing turned on. Red means recording, so it's, it's up and it's happening. So now with that group selected, I'm gonna hit transform and I'm gonna scale the height and the width locked by 78.4. Oop, 78.4, I guess it wasn't locked. I'm gonna rotate by 45 degrees, hit okay and then transform again, unlock the height, there you go, 7.7, .7. hit OK, and then before I do anything else, so it doesn't record anything else, I'm gonna go and hit that stop button down here. So now I've got this perfect tutorial map. So if I were to go and take that whole thing and just delete it and place it again, so let's do file, place linked, grab that top down, place it, put it in the folder, click the folder, and then with this selected, hit the play button on it, and boom, there it is, right? That's a lot faster, that's a lot easier. Uh, so imagine I went to something like Incarnate, and I made a map that was, I, I knew to be a perfectly at 100 pixels by 100 pixels, or I used something like uh, you know, a dungeon sketching tool, or a dungeon scrawl, or something like that, uh, one of these nice things, or I just you know, had an art source that was making me 100 pixel, or I knew how to convert or scale it to be perfectly on 100 pixel. All I'd have to do is hit this tutorial, you know, this this conversion macro, and then it'd be ready for import at that scale into Foundry VTT really quickly to use on a 74 pixel hex map. So let's prove that uh, by going and in, into here, taking the dropper and measuring it, and from kind of grid to grid, this should be 64, so yeah, I can't, you know, I'm not picking the pixels perfectly, but that'll be at 64, which is the dimension that I want for a 64 pixel isometric or 74 pixel uh, uh, hex representation of uh, the hex trick. All right, that's it. So uh, that is the second tip uh, for doing a Photoshop uh, conversion.